We're glad you're with us today. The Voices of Hope Overdose Awareness Day event raises awareness about overdose prevention and celebrates the hope that is found in recovery. And here to tell us more about that is Alex Ellswick. I really uh, do appreciate you coming in. What is really the mission of Voices of Hope? So our mission is to promote lifelong recovery from the chronic disease of addiction. And so we do that through education and advocacy and research and providing what we call recovery support services. The numbers of people lost to addiction are, are really so frightening, but are you seeing more people who are being able to put that in the past? We're seeing hope and we're seeing hope, I think in part because of organizations like ours and our mm -hmm. effort to do things like reduce stigma and, and to celebrate those who are in recovery. You bring in uh, speakers uh, from time to time. Certainly this event that you're going to tell us about is uh, one of those where you'll have some of the best. We'll have some of the best. We'll hear from uh, a mother who lost a, a son to overdose, and that's hard. But at the same time, uh, we also have people who can share the hope of recovery. So Rob Perez, who runs Deviate mm -hmm. Kitchen, will be out, and they'll be catering the event. And we'll hear from them, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be exciting. And I guess it really does. It must make you excited to see people like Rob stepping up and and coming up with great projects that help your cause. Absolutely, yeah. We we really uh, encourage people who are in recovery to stand up and do what we call recover out loud, mm -hmm. and, and say, "Hey, I'm in recovery, and this is what recovery looks like for me." Now, more and more people are saying that that we need to talk about it more. Just get it out there. I mean, it, it, as you said, there is stigma. There's uh, reasons that people uh, don't want to discuss it, but it is a problem for our whole society. No question. I, I think what, we talk a lot about stigma for the person who's addicted, but even for a mother or a family member who loses a loved one or has a loved one who's addicted. Um, they're not going to enjoy the same support that someone would who has a, a son who has cancer, for instance. And so we're trying to change the conversation around addiction. It's a free event. It's a week from Saturday, right? 10 o'clock in the morning right. at Jacobson Park, Shelter 6. Come listen and learn and uh, maybe uh, get involved. Thanks for coming. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good luck with it.